Hi folks, today we're going to change a thermostat in a Cummins ISX. This one happens to be sitting in a Freightliner Cascadia. It's a good time to start draining the coolant out of the engine. On the Cascadia, the drain is at the bottom of the radiator. A one inch socket will loosen it off. As you can see from the picture, it's a bit of a mess, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get some stuff out of the way and give ourselves some room to work. Now we can remove the intake pipe that runs from the air filter housing to the turbocharger intake. It can be removed by loosening off the two clamps pictured here. With that out of the way, we can actually see the thermostat housing now. We just have to move away some of the other cabling and wiring that's in the way. First we can remove the plastic tie holding the alternator cables right in front of the thermostat housing. Then the bracket that these ties are attached to is screwed in just above the AC compressor. Two bolts will remove this bracket. Here is a good view of one of the bolts. One of them is kind of hidden out of the picture but it's easy to see. We don't need to totally remove it, we just gotta loosen it off and push it out of our way later on. Next we can remove the upper radiator hose from the thermostat housing. In this Cascadia the air filter mounting bracket is also attached to the thermostat housing so you can remove that bolt and it might be easier to get it out if you take that filter minder out if your truck has one. In this particular setup the AC compressor is actually in the way of removing one of the bolts for the thermostat housing so we're going to want to unbolt the AC compressor we don't need to drain the system or remove any of the lines. It just needs to be disconnected from the engine so it can be moved out of our way. The first step in doing that is to remove the belt from the AC compressor. To remove the belt, just back the tensioner off slightly and slip the belt off the compressor. You can still leave it in place in front of the engine. Now we can remove the three mounting bolts for the AC compressor, which will allow the whole thing to move out of our way slightly. This gives us access to the thermostat housing. Removing four more bolts removes the thermostat housing from the engine. Here you see the housing removed with the thermostat still inside of it. In this particular case the rubber seals on the thermostat had deteriorated to the point where they were leaking by. Next you want to remove the thermostat and use a pry bar of some sort to pop the seal out of the thermostat housing. Remove the old gasket either from the thermostat housing or from the side of the engine, whichever place it held onto, and clean up the surfaces below it. The gasket and seal should be replaced along with the thermostat. Just remember, when ordering a new thermostat, the new gasket and the new seal for it are usually sold separately, so be sure to get them all at once. When installing the seal into the housing, if you don't have a purpose-made seal driver that fits it, you can always use a socket that's a similar size to the seal, just slightly smaller and fits inside the housing. Just tap each side of the socket evenly to make sure that the seal sits in well. Once it's seated into the housing, you can install the new thermostat. I always lube up the seal and the thermostat rubbers when installing them into the housing. A good rule of thumb is if you don't know what to use to lube the seals, use what the seal was meant to hold back. In this case it's coolant, so just lube them up with some coolant. With all the surfaces cleaned and the thermostat inside the housing, everything is ready to go back together now. Reassembly is just the reversed order of disassembly. Refer to your Cummins manual for all your torque specs for engine pieces and of course to the chassis manufacturer's manual for any other torque specs. So if you liked the video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe for more. As usual, thanks for watching.